Hi Aries, welcome to your reading. Guys, this is a weekly message from your person. Mm -hmm. Ooh, not in-depth tarot reading. But I am going to pull some oracle cards for us. I will. Mm -hmm. Guys, I sit with the Rose Oracle. I love this deck, guys. I love this deck. But before we start your reading, I wanted to ask Spirit, the Holy Spirit, to bring to me the energy that's coming in on your reading. And we got the thorn of all things. Yes, how beautiful is that image? I don't think my camera does it justice, y'all. You got the thorn, protection, boundaries, and clear communications. Clear communications on boundaries, on our needs. So, Aries, this is about being able to voice and stand firmly and clearly and knowing how to communicate it. What we like, what we don't like, what our needs are, and what we don't need. <laughs> it's the boundaries. Yeah. It's bringing me to the strength card. But I'm also seeing your highest energy card in the tarot, which is the emperor. The protection, the boundaries. The emperor that creates an environment within himself. Of feeling safe and confident and clear. I know what the rules are. But also creating that environment, that safe environment outside of himself for others to dwell in, to bloom in. Mm -hmm. Clearly being able to communicate. Let's jump in, guys. The thorn. The strength card. I didn't say, did I say that, guys? The strength card out of the tarot. It's taming the inner beast, but also taming the outer beast, but also training the beast. Getting the better understanding, the energetic connection going, and a loving bubble environment built that both of you can dwell in because you have that bubble inside you that feels safe. You create that on the outside for others to also feel safe. And it requires clear communications, clear knowing with yourself and with others, communicating it. But remember, we're doing a connection reading here. Did you create that outer environment that the other person feels safe to communicate clearly? Boundaries. Let's jump in, guys. Let's see whose energy is coming in the strongest for my Aries this week. Y'all know all my readings are meant to bring you confirmations of the things you already intuitively and instinctively know about the person and the connection. If it doesn't happen with this reading, you can check out your other sign positions. I also do the extra wild card reading. You could check that one out. See if I was able to pick up energy there. And guys, remember, I am reading for my Aries tribe. There's more than one of you. So any part of this reading that does not resonate for you, leave it on the table because it may be resonating for another member of your tribe. Take only what resonates for you. Let's jump in. Let's see your energy. I want to see what kind of energy. Let's get Holy Spirit, God's. To show me what the energy is that this connection and this person is bringing out in you, Aries. What is my Aries energy? Reconciliation. Seeing you again reminds me that life is better with you in it. Life is better with you in it. Mm -hmm. Bringing in that energy of cal uh, calmness after a storm. Calmness of when all the heavy emotions have died away, and I can see clearly. We, yeah, we got a lot of storms, a lot of things that went on between us. But in the calmness, I still see and I know and I feel to the depths of me. Life is better with you. 
But we are standing at choices, aren't we? You know, trying to make the right choice so I don't have regrets tomorrow. But you'll see, guys, it's a red door. Red door. Sandwich between two gray doors. The grayness. She's got her full attention. We've got chaser energy. If only there was a way I can make you feel my love. If only there was a way that we could learn how to communicate and express with each other where it's safe, where I could express my love to you. But that communication is broke down, isn't it? It's broke down. Somebody is so quick to run to. How oh, they they narcissistic. They are not. They are narcissistic. Well, whoever's saying that, guys, remember, if you're saying that, there's that's a paradigm. That's a narcissist that always draws in an empath. And an empath, if you're the one saying someone else is a narcissistic, you're the empath. You need to quit looking and pointing at them and what they doing and what you think they are, quit labeling them because you've already labeled yourself into the other side of the spectrum of an empath that has not learned how to communicate clearly boundaries. And your empath that has got yourself wide open to every thorn around you you're not protecting yourself. You haven't learned to protect yourself. Who gives a shit if they're a narcissist? Look at what you're saying about yourself. Where's your power? Where's your power? Communications have broke down, guys. And the connection. And somebody in this is like, I really wish I could communicate to you and had a way to express to you just how much I love you, how much I do value you, honor you, cherish you. My life is so much better with you, but we got a breakdown because one of us doesn't know how to clearly communicate and feel safe enough to communicate clearly. When I'm doing something that you feel like is harmful to you, that I'm disrespecting you, you, when you don't tell me, when you don't talk to me, how the hell am I supposed to express it to you in actions when I don't know what needs to be changed? How the hell do I keep going with you when I don't know the rules? When I don't know the rules. Keep going, Spirit. Anything else on my Aries energy here? Anything else on my Aries right here? Guys, we know. Aries, we're, it's bringing it out. I waited my whole life to find someone like you. And just because we can't get in this space with each other. To communicate clearly. It's broken down on one side. Because guys I was here narcissist. They a narcissist. Well dude. Stop looking at them. Look at how you're holding and viewing yourself. As an empath. That has not mastered. Being an empath. You've left yourself wide open. With no protection. And you're too afraid to communicate. To stand up for yourself. To have your back. To call somebody out. Stand up and tell somebody when they gaslighting. Point it out. If they're not hearing you. If they seriously cannot hear you. When you're communicating it to them. That's how you know they're a real narcissist. That's how you know you need to make a choice. To be the empath that protects herself, that throws the thorns out, and walks the hell away from that shit. But if they hearing you, and how you know they're going to hear you, is you gave them a chance 
to adjust the behaviors. They'll show you how much they love you, not only in words, but action. But action. But you're never going to know until you master communicating it clearly, standing boldly in it. Boldly in it. In Aries, guys, if we're on the flip side of this and our person is saying, they are narcissist. Hmm. Are, are we coming across as a narcissist? Maybe we need to communicate this to this person. If you are not giving me a chance to show you how much I love you, to show you I am, it is not all about me. Because you don't feel safe enough with me to open up. I can't play the game when I don't know the rules. And you ain't sharing what your rules are. Let's keep going for my Aries energy, guys. I think, I think that was the last one more likely on your energy because that's the love. You know. You know. Anything else, Lauren? Ooh. What fell out on that one, guys? Separation and escapism. This is, mm, I think that's the middle ground energy for us, guys. The red door here, the middle ground energy. We in separate, some of us are separation. See all the water? It don't, sometimes it don't mean the physical separation. Sometimes it's the emotional the bond. There's a big gap between us. I had to walk away to find what I deserve. And then we got escapism. I'm constantly distracting myself to relieve the pain of my reality. Ooh, somebody is into... Mm, don't know if it's you. Maybe it's you seeing them in, the, in, in this separation, the escapism. Maybe it's cutting you deep and you've got no way to really express to them. Of how watching them in this pain is killing you also. And maybe that's flipped. Maybe they're watching you in the escapism. Maybe they're watching you feeling that distance. And it's killing them watching it. Mm. Let's pull their energy. Spirit, bring the, my Aries person's energy forward for us, please. Pop. Secret admirer. I am ready. I'm not ready to reveal my true feelings to you. Al. Somebody over here is in the empath, aren't they? Intimate date. Al, do y'all know this one bothers me? Mm -hmm. Let's go out, have a drink or two, and have a little fun. Let's escape it. Let's escape it. This card bothers me, guys, because they use the word intimate date. They're giving you two messages with this card. Let's just spend the night together. Let's get drunk. Let's have a, uh, let's have some fun. <laughs> let's, you know, it's casual. Intimate is not casual, guys. Intimate is an energetic, deep bond of feeling safe to open up to another person. To allow them into your vulnerability. What I just hear? I don't want to just get drunk with you. I want. I don't want the drunkness of us. I want the sobriety of us. The realness of us. What else? Pop. Damaged. Before you date me, understand I am damaged and broken soul. The empath, the empath over here. That forgets they have forms to protect them. Mm -hmm. And doesn't know their own power. They have not mastered. And they keep walking around in a world full of narcissists. Because they're picking up everyone's energy and it's cutting them to the core. Love, hate. I'm angry. 
but I still love you. Just hate what you do. And I ain't brave enough to tell you what it is that you do and give you the chance to not do it anymore. <laughs> to not do it anymore. Oh, Aries. Let's get them talking, guys. Hold the energy. Can't play the game when you don't know the rules. And like I said, uh huh. If this is you over here on this empath, Aries, mm -hmm. give a person a chance for you totally, totally label them and cast them off as just a nasty little narcissist. Self-centered little narcissist. Give them a chance. Because this is indicating you haven't spoken it. You haven't spoken what you think is narcissistic about them. You haven't brought it to their attention. You haven't given them a chance to really see them. Let them prove to you. And like I said, it won't just be in words. It'll be in actions. Point out what it is that you don't need and what you do need. And if they ain't taking action the next minute, the next day, the next week, holding consistent to it, then yeah, they're a narcissist to walk away. Let's get them talking. This is for my Aries person. Can we talk here, please? Talk to us. Aries, Aries. I never meant to make you feel third wheel. The silence is maddening, but I can see myself more clearly. Do you know how badly I want to give in? Keep going. Ooh, guys, my fingers don't want to grab a hold of it. Grab it, grab it, grab it. Oh, we're getting two. I don't want to love you as much as I do. I want to give in to that, but I don't want to love you as much as I do because, damn, there's that hate coming in. It felt like I was under some kind of spell. Hmm. No way, shape, or form could I ever measure up. Keep talking. Our last conversation is still weighing on me. I imagine every conversation is weighing on me. What else? Read between the lines. Can you read between the lines? You be sitting there like, I don't want to have to read between the lines. I need you to tell me. I need you to stand and tell me. Just face me. Tell me what I'm doing wrong. I don't want to have to guess. My guessing sucks. My guessing at it is what got us here. Tell me. Show me. I can feel myself being pulled to you. Keep going. Keep going. My interest just rapidly declined. I don't know why. And I don't understand it myself. Ooh. Of course you want a voice in yourself, honeys. My true foundation is was with you. Foundation, guys, safe. It feels safe to be vulnerable with you. I feel like I don't know you anymore. What else? You wholeheartedly captivated me. That's rare. That's rare. I'm learning that karma has everyone's address. Being in love is something deeper. What 
What if you finally say I'm not good enough for you? Anything else? Aries person, was there anything else? Bring it out. Yep, there's one other one. I know more than you think I do. It's hard for me to have faith that we are each other's forever person. It's hard for me to have faith that I even have a forever person. Sometimes it feels like there's no one out there for me. Because I can't measure up. I don't want to live the untold love story of never knowing what could have been. I don't want to walk away from this without trying, without giving it a chance. The Aries would be saying, exactly. Give it a chance. Talk to me. Tell me the rules. I can't play the game with you when you can't have the courage to face me and tell me what you need, what you don't need. Hold the energy on the deck. Guys, our next deck, I picked um, Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine Speak, but I picked the passive side of the deck, which is Feminine Energy. Y'all see what's on the bottom. Did I lose you? But I wanted, this, Feminine is not gender, guys. It's the energy of being open and receptive and allowing yourself to be a little bit vulnerable. We're taking that one because it pinged, did I lose you? We're talking with it, guys. I do miss you. We aren't done. We have unfinished business. There's too many things not said, not answered. I haven't felt this way about anyone else ever uncharted territory. I'm afraid you'll see the real me and not like it. I'm trying to figure out what this connection really means. I wasn't sure how my life would change if we continued the connection. You may think I'm trying to manipulate you, but I'm not. I feel sa safer in familiar patterns. I feel safer. The word safer is lifting off that card for me, guys. This is the big issue in the connection. The com not communicating clearly and feeling safe enough to communicate it. You made me feel something. That's what's confusing. I can't even tell you what I'm feeling because it's so confusing. I don't know what to do, so I do nothing. Do you feel the same as you once did, or have I missed my chance? Have I ruined it? I want to make things right between us. I'm not sure how to do that. I'm working on it. Memories of us still linger even after all this time. I still want you. I'm fighting my feelings. Whew. Let's stop it there, guys. Aries, let's go ahead and get your person to close the reading off for us. Let's get them to give you the final messages for the reading. I'm giving everyone the begins. Yes, because y'all know I want that soft feminine energy to be in these readings where we're open, receptive, and not afraid to be vulnerable and to look at the, our own vulnerability, but also to be able to see the other person's vulnerability. That's what a feminine energy does. Aries person, talk to us. Pop. I can't help but be in love with you. You're my greatest adventure. And adventures are scary. They are. But they're exciting. And I want adventure. But I'm scared. 
I'll cross oceans for you. I'll swim the oceans for you. The intensity of this connection allures and it frightens me. And in those moments that I'm frightened, I need you to make it safe for me to look at you and say, I'm frightened. I'm scared. Aries, I'm sending you love and light. That's all I have for us, guys. Bless be.